Well, today we're back to CB um, servicing. And nobody can say they don't like the Rotel RVC 230, and I think it's one of the best, if not the best, compromise because it's Cybernet 134 chassis. It's the one with the extra bit, whereas the Rotel 220 and the York A61 don't have the extra IF bit. Uh, so it's the same specification as the Rotel 240 and the York A63 and the Bandit M5 Star, but with all the extra knobs. So it's got few enough knobs to work in the car, because your only one you don't really need is RF gain. So more than the basic set and a very good performer. And we used to use a, York, a, a Rotel 230 as a reference set, um, um, certainly up to moving here in um, uh, 85. So we're going to open this up, and this is one of our sets. And we will see what greets us because it says on the back if it's got a red sticker, it means not working. So having opened it up, uh, connecting it up to a brand new mic, new power lead, because it's not come with either. It's one we bought on eBay a few years ago um, to, to do these uh, repairs and tests and videos with. We've covered the 220, we've covered the 240, and I noticed we haven't covered the 230, so I thought we'll get on and do it seeing as I knew where it was. So having connected it up, it's lit up. and. Those green displays are always nice, and it's doing, let's have a look, it is transmitting, it's dropped in frequency, it's 2779082, it should be 2779125, that's to be expected with age, because crystals drop with age, and of course the crystal reference oscillator will need pulling up. Transmit power, uh, obviously it's supposed to do 4 watts and it is doing 2.2. Uh, let's see whether it receives. Would of course help if I connected the external speaker. I can just hear it at 0 0.3 microvolts so can't be much wrong with the receiver. And we'll just check uh, if deviation's anywhere near. Wallow. Wallow. It's actually over the top at three and a half. So, low power, low frequency, receiving okay, transmit deviation too high. So, apart from that, We'll go through it from scratch. So we'll start with the VCO. So the service manual asks us to set the radio to channel 40, which I've done, and we put the test meter between test point 1 and ground. Test point 1 is the far side of resistor 4 far side of resistor 4. The, you could go on the capacitor there but it's full of wax just there. So I've got 4.46 volts as you can see and we're supposed to have um, 4 volts plus or minus 0.1. It's just slightly out. So it's coil 1. So L1 and L1 is the one in the middle of the, the waxy bit the wrong way so it's clockwise for down 4.07 that will do me nicely we set the radio into transmit mode and then we need to adjust CT1 and CT1 is that trimmer just there again for 4 volts so let's see what we've got. 4.02, 3.99, that kind of area. So we don't need to adjust CT1 on this particular radio. Now they want you to go to channel 1. 
channel one we're down to and on channel one they expect it to be between 1.8 and 2.5 volts and it is and in transmit 1.9 to 2.5 volts and it is so a little bit of adjustment there so we now select channel 20 we've done the VCO and we can move on to the main part of the radio and this is part one which is VCO and transmit so we'll go through the transmit first of all I'll just pull it up on frequency so it should be 2779125 it's 2779078 so it's CT2 whichever way I turn it will be the wrong way yep yeah. There we go, 79124, that'll do nicely. So we're back on frequency, and that's good to know. So we need to be doing transformer 2, 3, and 4. I'll just remind myself where they are. You might think I do Cybernet 134s every day, and I don't because they're so reliable. So 2, 3, and 4 are those three. Let's see if we can zoom in. This camera's playing up and I don't repair cameras so I'd hate to have to move over to a black and white one if it went wrong. So I'm looking at the power meter And that is already at peak. I'm trying to get the tool between the the wiring harness on that one. No, nope, that's never been touched either, that's fine. They're all absolutely fine. So if I can find where I've hidden the green tool, which is that one, we need to move over to these coils here. And it's four, eight, and nine. So we're looking for maximum on 4, 8 and 9. Well that's brought it up nicely. Um, we're now doing 3 watts. I'll just backtrack now we've done that. I'll just backtrack on the earlier ones. Because it can make a difference because they are interactive to some degree. At the moment we're at 3.1.
That's interesting as I turn the, this final one on the right. Um, it's interesting if I go beyond the peak point, it draws more current but develops less power. So I'm trying to be meticulous. It's about 3.2. Right, having gone through that several times, we're now doing 4.4 watts. So the service manual says uh, they want you to reduce it to 3.8 watts with L9. Uh, we're not going to reduce it to 3.8 watts. Uh, we're going to actually reduce it to 4.1 because there's about to be lost in the aerial system and that will still be within the legal limit. So, not that it makes much difference, but. Um, you may as well have uh, everything you're entitled to. Um, nine is the second one. Oh, it's four we need to turn. Yeah, nine is the second one. So it's counterclockwise. And that brings us to 4.1. Good. Well, that's brought it up, hasn't it, from 2.7. So we'll just do DVA. Oh, we'll do the power meter next. Might as well do the power meter. It's RV4, which is that one. So we want the meter to read 4 into a dummy load which is it, which it now does especially if the mic leads not in the way and now we need to do the deviation uh, so that was over the top so it's uh, it says in the, this, the, the, the manual says it's just RV6 for maximum maximum deviation an RV6 is the one on its side. Oh, right, it helps if I'm in the right mode. Right, that's now, I think, maximum. I will just go the other way in case I'm wrong. Yeah, no, it's the other way. I was right, it was the other way. So now it's doing three and a half. Then it says uh, just 2.2 for um, RV2 for 2.15. RV2 <laughs> is that one there. We'll check it with the, um, with the proper thing. I don't mind approximating with a whistle, but we'll use the oscillator. Two point one five, which is there, and then adjust the other one for. They want you to set it for one point six. Well, well, that's not going to happen. Wallow. There we go. So that's now peaking at two point five. Wallow. Excellent. Oh, low power. Um, low power is doing one watt, and that doesn't help us. So we'll, if I remember rightly, without looking it up, it's uh, it's that one at the back, which is RV five. Used a service all on that is just a bit uh, dodgy track. And that should, of course, be 0 0.4 from 4. So I'll switch that back to 4. Oh, 
And that's excellent. And that concludes the transmit side of the Rotel RVC 230. So we'll see you on the receive side.